Hello class, hope you're doing well. I'm a little late today. I usually get out in the morning, but I, uh, I've been spending all day doing my taxes because that's, uh, that's coming up. Uh, so hasn't, uh, hasn't been fun, but I got it figured out and I got to the post office and mailed them out before I, uh, um, before I closed. Anyways, so, so it's a hint for you guys if you haven't done your taxes yet to get them done. Anyways, <clears throat> What better way to talk about something pleasant from, from the taxes than talk about science, right? So this article I, I ran across recently, it's on implantable batteries that run on oxygen in the body. So, uh, I mean, this is the start of a proof of concept and some technology and, and where we're going. And, and I was thinking about this, and when you think of cyborgs, like... Right. Uh, when so cyborg cyborg is you know like you know kind of combination of biological and and technology uh, and in science fiction, right? I mean the cyborgs like Darth Vader is a cyborg and you know he does not look human and uh, but or you think of things like where you have medical devices thing things like. Um, I mean, like the Matrix, right? If you've seen those movies, or, or you, basically, you know, the the um, the cyborg does not look human at all, at all. It, it it looks it looks something's off. Even even like the Terminator movies. I mean, Arnold doesn't look normal. I mean, he he actually is human, but he, you know, of course they make him they, you know this ripped bodybuilder villain. But uh, what cyborgs are, and we are becoming cyborgs, really. I mean. You're probably not going to have wires. You're not going to be plugged in. Uh, so the um, the implants that you have, they can be run off of uh, your like oxygen and sodium already in your body. That's cool. And um, maybe if you do need to be charged, you could just you know do an induction charger, like you can do for certain cell phones and toothbrushes, right? So you wouldn't necessarily need to have plugs. So. But here's one that we're getting closer and closer to that unmistakable cyborg are these uh, implantable batteries. Uh, and it's we're not there yet. Like, uh, where it would be nice to use these already, I mean, we have certain things like pacemakers, right? So individuals have pacemakers that, that um, make sure for certain people with, with heart issues, the pacemakers keep the uh, heart beating in, a proper, in the proper way. So, uh, I mean, and when we use lithium ions batteries for that, uh, we used to use plutonium batteries for that, but uh, we started moving away from that, uh, partially because it's, plutonium is hard to make, and secondly, plutonium is really poisonous. So uh, lithium is not nearly as poisonous as, as, uh, as plutonium. So plutonium is very, very toxic. Uh, so, uh, but these, this battery here though, uh, this would be a little, I, I wouldn't be too happy to have, uh, a sodium galleon tin, uh, metal, um, in there. The gold's okay. The gold, the gold anode is fine. Gold, or it's cathode. I'm sorry. I think it's gold cathode. Um, anode corrodes, cathode grows. The cathode is, is the, uh, is the. Um, the anode gets oxidized, the, the, the cathode, uh, gets reduced. So, um, but yeah, we're, we're getting there. It's interesting to see, uh, this new technology and, and, and where it'll take us and it's going to improve. It's going to improve, of course. But I mean, like I said, we are beating cyborgs. I mean, some of the things that are, are just really interesting, like cochlear implants, right? For people that don't have hearing. I mean, that's amazing. And I mean, eventually we'll have those for various other things that, uh, that just, you know, to, to solve issues. Uh, I mean, we already have, I mean, I know plenty of people that have hip replacements, that have knee replacements, right? You're having, you're having your parts and your body parts being replaced to improve quality of life. So, and this is the next step. So it's interesting, but, uh, hope you enjoyed the article. Uh, and uh, if you need anything, so I know we're, we're still relatively human. Uh, we're not complete cyborgs yet. And, uh, as being human comes with uh, certain costs and the cost is, you know, basic needs. 
So if you find yourself not having your basic needs being met, also mental health. Uh, so if you're if you're having some mental health issues, and of course, like I said, mental health is it's really uh, it's it's pretty bad right now, especially anxiety. But I mean, of course, uh, there's other issues that people can have. If you are finding yourself having really hard issues with the mental health, please let me know, and and I'll point you. I'll help you out the best I can. So uh, take care. Have a nice weekend, and uh, don't stress too much about your taxes, I guess. Make sure you get them in. So, uh, oh, and I should probably say, uh, I noticed for Hawaii, it's due on the, the 22nd, I believe. Uh, federal is the 15th, though. That's, that's coming up on Monday. So, I, uh, I'll say aloha then. Goodbye.